Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. FST News. Last night, hundreds of 8th graders showed up to see all the greatness that our high school has to offer. We interviewed a couple to see what they thought. And a sophomore right here at Foothill is wanting her way up the ranks in CrossFit World. All this and more today on FST News. Tuesday, November 30th. I'm Victoria Reader. And I'm Summer Ramirez. Go. And I'm Cassidy Reyes. And I'm Isaiah Day. Welcome back, Hawkins. The winners of the Canned Food Drive are here. Steel Co. had a Canned Food Drive to help send food to those over the seas. The following students that helped donate are Tyler Wickheiser, Kaylin Miguel, Addie Larson, and a student with ticket 608056 have won. Please go to Mr. Rashek to claim your prizes. The boys basketball team tips off their season with their first game today, which happens to be at home against Rancho. B team will play first at 3.30, JV's game is at 5, and Varsity will play at 6.30 in our own gym. You can buy individual tickets by using the QR code to Ticket Spicket. Family season passes are also available for up to 6 for just $60. Christian Davis is live in the quad right now while Falcon Preview is going on. Christian? Good morning. I am Christian Davis, and I'm in the beautiful quad here. And usually I'll be giving you an outstanding live report, but here I have future FST news reporter Cynthia to do my job. So take it away, Cynthia. Thank you so much for gracing my present, Christine Davis the Great. Today is Falcon Preview Night, however, it is taking on a new form. When the great Christian Davis first entered Foothill, Falcon Preview Night was a large gathering in the cafeteria. But due to the pandemic, Falcon Preview Night has taken an open house format which all mighty Christian Davis also likes. As you can see, I am currently inside Foothill Quad area. Behind me is the Foothills Library where the intelligent Christian <laughs> Davis reads college level books for fun. To my right is Foothills Cafeteria, which is where the Emperor of First News, also known as Christian Davison, dine. Thank you so much for those compliments that I totally didn't force you to say. Anyways, this is the real Christian Davis reporting with FST News and the future Christian Davis, Cody. Thank you, Chris. We look forward to seeing all you eighth graders and we hope you all have a good time. Victoria. Seniors make sure to bring a cozy blanket and some hot cocoa for Senior Movie Night. Senior Movie Night will be this Friday. Doors will open at 6 p.m. and the movie will start at 6.30 p.m. The movie will be Home Alone. Admission with a senior ID is $1 each per person. Admission will help Stuco raise money for the senior field, field day at the end of the year. They will be selling cotton candy, popcorn, hot chocolate, and water will be provided. Administrators would like to remind seniors that Home Alone is a PG-13 movie. Shiloh Tom. Peterson and Junior Weather. Wait, okay. And Junior has the forecast for Senior Movie Night. How's the weather looking, guys? Hey, Falcons! I am Shiloh Peterson, and today I am joined with Paige Ackerman from Manion Middle School. Awesome! We have some amazing weather for Senior Movie Night. So here on Friday night at about 6:30 p.m., it'll be a chilly 60 degrees with minimal winds at about four miles an hour. Since I am joined with the lovely Paige, we will let them take it away for the rest of our weather segment. 
through the movie, it will be a chilly 57 degrees with still minimal winds. And so about midway through the movie will be a chilly 57 degrees. And so then here at 8.30 directly in the movie temperature will have dropped nicely chilly 54 degrees with no winds to make it feel colder. That's the weather forecast for senior movie night. Victoria and Isaiah, back to you. Foothill is partnering up with the city of Henderson to plan a huge job fair. This job fair will happen here on campus all next week. There will be 100 positions available for you to apply for. These positions will include aquatics, safety, sports, and more. If they're interested in hiring you, they will call you back for an interview by the end of the week. Those interviews will also take place on campus. Make sure you clear your calendars for the evenings next week. Some of us are making the gym a New Year's resolution. Meanwhile, Foot, a Foothill sophomore is making her way to the top in national CrossFit co competitions. We'll be right back after this break. Come out December 1st versus Las Vegas at senior night. Come watch these beasts wrestle. See you there. Welcome back. Each student right here at Foothill is making it in the big fitness world. Kendall Grillmore is almost a sophomore and one of the strongest members of her CrossFit team. First year reporter Myla Magard interviews Kendall about the dedication that makes her amazing today. Kendall Gilmore is one of the world's youngest CrossFit competitors, only a sophomore here at Foothill High School. She participates in CrossFit training as well as her own Foothill dance class. She has worked very hard to get where she is today. Well, I started like really doing CrossFit like over a year, so I'd say like about over a year. Kendall is trained by Billy Howard at the Sin City CrossFit Gym. So Kendall is actually one of the first kids that ever came to our gym in our first CrossFit Kids class, so she was probably four years old, and she kind of did CrossFit off and on over the years, but she's always like been a really competitive soccer player. She gets her inspiration from her parents, who go to the gym as well. My parents inspired me since they were like always doing it. I just wanted to do what they were doing. CrossFit is also very beneficial to her. Well, it's just like it improves my health. It just like makes me like overall like more healthy. Later on, last year, during the pandemic, she couldn't play soccer, so she got more into the CrossFit world. Billy adds that some athletes do really well because they have a background in gymnastics, but her background is in soccer and she already has endurance. You don't usually see a girl like Kendall come in every day. Kendall's like, she's just awesome. She's like super, she's like super competitive and uh, she's a really good athlete and she's really coachable. Like, you know, she, like with CrossFit, you learn so many new things. And uh, so I think she, like, she, likes, she likes the aspect of it. Billy says she is special because she has a really good work ethic, which is why she's improved so much. Kendall takes dance, too, in period five at her school. For fun, she says. And has been dancing three years prior at Mannion Middle School. Kendall doesn't let the pressure get to her, and she always steps up. Oh, I think she's going to, like, she could do whatever she wants when she grows up. I think, she, yeah, like, she's so strong mentally, like I said. Billy tells us that she would get her homework done, then every other day, start training and practice. Furthermore, she was able to get a really tough movement in a year, but for others it would have taken much longer. And now she competes, so she, uh, she just competed at the Desert Games in Pahrump, so she actually won that in the adult division you know, as a 15 year old, so that's really awesome. Now, after all the practice, she doesn't let failure stop her, and has grown so much, and her confidence level has increased overall. 
but just having that background like i think she could do anything um even not being an athlete but just like just gonna give her that confidence to go for to reach her goals no matter what they are she has just qualified for Wadapalooza in January, the biggest cross competition in Miami. And she not only has a sport of her gym, but appears here at Foothill. Point for FC News, this is Miley Mallory. Aside from working out, Kendall also dances and plays soccer. Switching gears now, want to learn how to speak in sign language? Maybe you want to learn a new skill, just for the fun of it. The sign language club meets after school today. American Sign Language, or ASL, is the dominant language of members of the deaf community. The Sign Language Club meets every Tuesday and teaches students this beautiful method of communication. Sign Club is, is unique to Foothill and advisor Mr. Oliver says sign language has the power to connect the students together using another language. Find them today in room 231. Foothill Dance Program will be having their annual winter dance concert this week. And the, the concert will take place on this Wednesday and Thursday night at 6 p.m. Tickets are $7 at the door. The showcase features Dance 1, Dance 2, the Varsity Dance Team, and Mannion's Dance Team. They're performing class routines that they've been working on since the start of the semester, as well as a few select student choreographed pieces. Not only will the dance concert be a showcase, but it will also be a fundraiser to support the dance team. Okay, go. And it's Tuesday, which means Chick-fil-A is on sale for lunch. It is Tuesday, which, it, which means Chick-fil-A is now on sale for lunch. They will have both regular and spicy chicken sandwiches for $5 each. The funds will, go to, will be used to support student council activities, so don't be a chicken. Go grab one today. Before we end today, the sophomore class is selling Krispy Kreme and hot chocolate every Monday and Friday this month. It is $2 for hot cocoa, $2 for donuts, and a discounted $3 for both. Buy, buy during first and second lunch in the quad on Mondays and Fridays. And that's all the news going around the hill today, Falcons. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook on SPC News or download our app on the Apple or Google Play Store. I'm and the Reader, and he is Casey Lapita. And from all of us here at FST News, have a tantalizing Tuesday, Falcons. Once again, I am Isaiah Day. And this is Garrett Smith. Signing out.